An efficient column will produce narrow peaks uh, even after a long retention time. So if we can think of an ideal peak, and we always draw peaks uh, ideally as kind of Gaussian peaks, uh, it's worth re remembering that peaks may not always be Gaussian. Um, it's not uncommon to have a peak that has some tailing. Uh, tailing means that uh, at longer retention times it actually tails off. Um, that's something to do with the imperfections in the column itself. Uh, we could also have something which gives fronting. So it actually uh, has a front to it. And that's usually caused by uh, overloading the column. So these are asymmetrical peaks. But if we have a symmetrical peak, um, and we know the retention time, I'll try and redraw this, and we're saying for this problem that the retention time, the time after injection, is 8.02 minutes. We also need to know either the base peak width or the half peak width. Uh, in this case, we know the base peak width. So again, we're going to draw tangents to make it a triangle and measure the width at the baseline. And this has to be in minutes. So if it's in centimeters, you need to know the chart speed. In this case, we've got minutes, 0.13 minutes as a peak width. Um, and if we know the peak width, we can use the equation that the number of theoretical plates, oops, let's change that to black. So the number of theoretical plates, which is a measure of column efficiency, is 16 times the retention time over the base peak width squared. If you have the half peak width, then it's going to be 5.54. Um, retention time over the half peak width squared, the whole thing squared. Um, and we use half the width for half peak height simply because it's, it can be easier to measure. Now in this case, we're going to do 16. Um, the retention time and the width have to be in the same units, so in this case, minutes. So 8.02 divided by 0.13, and then we just square that. And in this case, that gives us an answer of 3,806 uh, with no units. It's minutes divided by minutes. Uh, if we wanted to know the height equivalent to a theoretical plate, which is usually written as h, then it's the length of the column divided by the number of plates. So if we have a 30 meter column, it's going to be 30 meters divided by 3,806 which gives us 0.00788 meters or 7.9 millimeters.